In this video, boys, you're going to learn how to kill Cerberus, the three-headed boy up in the back there. You're going to need a Hellhound Slayer task. I do have a Tebow, but I figured the Bowfring Crystal Armor might relate to uh, my audience a little bit more. Now, alternatively, you can take the Arclight and melee the dog, but I prefer to melee him because you are prone to taking much less damage and you can dodge one of his specials. I'm not going to teach you how to Ghost Skip because it's a stupid mechanic that wastes a lot of time. It's a copium mechanism, and I don't have a Spectral Spirit Shield, so just be aware when the Ghosts come out, you you can put the shield on to reduce the prayer drain by half so you lose 45 prayer points overall rather than 90. Going in, Slayer Helmet, Crystal Setup, you can bring a T-Bow, it's obviously better. Ring of the Gods for a little bit of extra prayer bonus, Mole Slip is the best in slot. Over in the inventory we got the Blowpipe for a juicy spec, Runes for Death Charge and uh, the whatever it is to use the Ashes to get some prayer points back and then fill the inventory with shit. You're gonna go through prayer pots very quickly in here, especially without a spectral spirit shield. All you're gonna do is run in the room. Pray, right? Uh, mage, sorry, rigor with the hard arm, may as well pot up as well. Oh, he's gonna attack straight out. So notice how he does like three attacks in one. You can actually pray flick that. I'm just a donkey and I'd, uh, actually let's reset the kill so I can show you how it's done, all right? Walk out of here, take a bit of damage, it's fine. All right, let the kill reset, eat some food. Walk in, the very first attack and like every seven attacks after, if you wanna count it, he's gonna go, mage, as soon as you hear the noise, range, you stand up, then go melee. And you'll protect from all three attacks. And that's fine. He'll do it again once every seven attacks. Now, just keep sit, sit there, keep hitting him. Totally fine. Once he gets below 400 HP, he's going to go, oh, my voice is fucked, sorry. So he might uh, summon some uh, some goats to come out and start doing some damage. Goats are very simple. Uh, you got blue for mage, red for melee, green for range. Very straightforward. It's going to be random order. I'll show you how to deal with them when they come out. Just make sure you have over 60 prayer points when they do, or over 30 if you have the spectral spirit shield. Okay, here we go. He's about under, he's under 400 HP now. Any second, he might do the, the old Aru, or he's going to do a, um, a triple attack. If he mages and stands up, yeah, I'm going to go pray melee to protect myself from that one. I wasn't ready for the range. That's totally fine. Rigor with the hard R. Keep on bursting. Wait for it. Keep spam clicking. More clicks, more dicks. Here we go. The R Ru. I'm going to turn off Rigor so my prey doesn't drain under 60 while doing this. All right, green first on the left. Range, as soon as he attacks, go mage. As soon as mage attacks, go melee. Easy, that simple. As soon as the first ghost attacks, flick to the second ghost. As soon as the second ghost attacks, flick to the third. Once the third one's attacked, sip a prayer potion, put your prayers back on, start doing some damage. Okay, very simple. Now, when he's under 200 HP, he has another spec where he goes, Grrr. This is where he gets a little bit angry. Now, he will always do the Grrr attack after summoning the ghost. There'll be his next attack after. Sometimes he'll do it without doing ghosts. It just depends. So we're actually going to stand around and wait. This is why I like being in range as well. Range distance. Because when he does the Grrr attack, uh, it'll instantly say so he's doing it. See how it takes time for the red spots to travel over to you. If you're meleeing him, you would instantly start taking damage immediately. So if you're ranging... You don't have to take melee damage from him, except for when he does his triple attack, and the balls don't hit you immediately. Ghosts are coming out. I'm at, oh, I don't have any prayer. Shit. Here we go. So pray. Uh, shit. Melee, and then range. Like that. That's simple. That's how you protect from all three ghosts. See how I did that? Like a fucking champ, because I'm the king at this fucking game. And that's how you kill Cerberus, ladies and gentlemen. Get the blood runes. Pick up the infernal ashes. When you have three infernal ashes, cast this spell. Don't be afraid to use death charge to uh, get some uh, special attack back when you're using the toxic blowpipe to heal. My name is King Condor. I'm going to do one more kill to show you guys how it's done. And then I'm fucking off out of here. Here we go. The range. The melee. That's it. Completely protected. Hit him with the fucking... 60 health left. And he, he's only just summoning the ghost now. Skip it. Fuck the ghost, dude. I'll take a 30 on the chin. Maybe... Oh, 60. God oh, damn. Doesn't matter. Ghosts are dead. Easy game, boys. That's how it's done. Don't forget, once the first ghost on the left here attacks, move your prayer to the next one. My name is King Condor, and I approve this message. Fuck off. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn! Fuck, mate, look at that boy. It's huge!